all right guys real quick video i needed to uh <coughs> cut a bunch of holes real quick and uh or circles actually i needed six or eight of them and uh here's some of them here and we figured we'd do it with a plasma cutter i needed uh two and three quarters and i have a little circle cutter but uh it doesn't cut small circles that well I needed something to cut some small circles, so this is it here. Works out good. Now, I have a, uh, you, you need this? All right, hold on a second. Um, this is a drag tip for you guys aren't familiar with them. They're, uh, you notice it's got, you see the little uh, notches in it? You, you just set that down the surface and drag it. And a uh, little bit different than the cone, the pointy cone. Uh, anyway, so. They're a little bit different diameter. You can see this hole's a little bit larger than this one. And we got ready to cut the holes and I <coughs> had my regular regular tip on there. You can see regular tip. And that's drag tip. And I had the only one drag tip left somehow or another. I hadn't been paying attention, didn't order any. So I figured, well, I'll go ahead and build one for the drag tip and one for the smaller diameter uh, regular tip, the regular cone tips and i needed two and three quarter circles because they're going to go inside of those three inch and that's going to be a damper system that i'm going to use uh, on our oil burner which is getting some tweaks and that's from an old rocket stove venture from way back uh anyway and i figure well hell while i'm building it might as well build it where it's uh, you know got more than one use. So what what you can do on here, on this side, anything's got to do with a quarter. So uh, one quarter, which you know times two would be a half inch hole, and I would have, or a half inch circle. I guess that would be possible. Mm -hmm. Then, oops, I got a battery critically low. Let me see if I can finish this. And then I got. Uh, so that would be a half, which would be a one inch. That'd be three quarter, be inch and a half. That'd be one inch, it'd be two inch. So you see how that works? All right, when you come down here, so that hole from the center here to here is a quarter. Now over here, you notice that's over a little bit further. From the center of that hole to here is three eighths. So now I get three eighths, five eighths, seven eighths, one inch, inch and an eighth. I believe I've got that. All right now they're not that close together hold on It'd be three eighths five eight seven eighths yeah that's right so that's actually yeah so if you use the torch on one end you get quarter measurements on this end you get uh, eighth measurements and what you do and i just had and I, I had an idea just to use a nail and i thought well shit, let's try to use a screw so that screw i drilled 964 so it'll just drop right on through there uh, let's see, hold on a second, shit, one hand. All right, that'll drop right through there. And then if you want to screw it in, you're cutting sheet metal or something like that, use a uh, one eighth inch, um, one eighth inch drill, and you can screw that screw in. But if you just drop it in there, it works fine. And then you move the torch, and you can use your finger and just spin it right around. It did a really nice job tickle to death with it you know now that's only if you want a hole in the center of your part otherwise you can't use the screw obviously but we didn't give a flip because these are going to be dampers that fit inside of those pipes and uh, we're just going to run these rods through their quarter inch and put those cut those uh, springs in half and use those so I'm going to be welding on there anyway so i'll just close up the hole i thought you guys might like that uh I, I think somebody's done this out there on youtube before seemed like i've seen something like this i'm not sure if they uh had it set up where you could do all the way down to eights and quarters and all that but i was just when i got thinking about it i was like well shit that thing will work anyway i thought i'd post that i'm sure it'd be useful to somebody cheers you guys well I didn't give you guys a uh, demo of that when I built it because I'd already cut that up.
uh, what I need to cut anyway. So, uh, but I got I had to finish cutting. So anyway, I don't want to start right there because I lose my piece when I come around here. So I'll stop here and start in here, going around, cut both my cuts, and then come back. type burner and that's our other burner that works great but we want to tweak it a little bit so I have this where I can just slip my fan up there and slip that pin in to hold it because that's where the hole is there that's our fan it's two weeks 75 CFM Dayton and there's a 650 blower CFM blower and those parts there fixing the Go on the end of that, and that's going on that, and after we do some testing, we're reducing the diameter of some holes and stuff first. Anyway, just want to show you guys the uh, 
Oh, and by the way, you didn't see this one. I showed you the two shorter. Uh, I showed you the two shorter ones that I made, but they would cut. I think I had them set up. Let's see, I can't remember. They cut about a 12-inch hole. Anyway, this <laughs> we needed uh, 15 and 17 and a half, so I cut another piece of <coughs> three-quarter by uh, one-eighth flat bar and drill the holes and I did it again from that hole to that hole three eighths and from that hole to the hole that's not there but anyway that would be a quarter so that's a half inch from here to there so half three quarter one inch and then three eighths five eighths seven eighths so depending on which end you start from which end you put your torch in coming back you can get all the way down to one eighth inch increments depending on whether you cut from this side or that side. And as you saw, that worked pretty damn good. So anyway, I am just built one more and put my little box here. So I uh, thought you guys might enjoy seeing it, actually seeing it work. All right, cheers.